This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving any time soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. Selling the leaving to piss pops. Or worse, because it makes people disappear inside. Katie, I am trying to make my living. The worst panacea of Paris would cure his lethargy. Look at him. It's only made him worse. How is it possible? Starry soothing syrup is made from the finest ingredients imported from all the corners of the empire and beyond. This secret formula can cure all ailments. A neuralgia, sprains, sword chest, the boils, scrofula, and scurvy. Starry's soothing syrup is the elixir for you! Get off your chum. What do I do on this earth? Help! Get Starry's soothing syrup right here! It's all he drinks. Your syrup is liquefying him. He's turning him simple-headed. Now, look now. You are scaring away my customers. Why don't you bugger off or I'll give you something to remember me by. Oh, you can't talk to me like that, you little guttling. What's all this, then? Oh, sod off! <gasps> if you'll excuse me, madam. Tell me where the syrup originates. All, all I know is they make a run each day between the gasometers and the asylum.
find out where that serum is made, shall we? You'll get a shipment tomorrow. The man in charge of the syrup distribution runs a fighting club at the foundry. Is the syrup made? Speak now or forever hold your. The distillery. It's the large building beside the brewery. Now, to stop soothing syrup production once and for all.
Keep a sharp eye out, lads. Someone's targeting our network. The distillery might be next. This will complicate things. Have you tried it? The syrup, I mean. Are you daft? You don't know what you're missing. That poison will kill you. You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you. Keep vigilant. Quick, inside. That was too close a call. You, young man, gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them. But I realize now why you're here. The same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? Rather impressive contraption, wouldn't you say? I've seen bigger. Stramonium, or Devil's Snare, as it is commonly called. That goes into the syrup. And opium, no less. Revolting. Absolutely sickening. A favorable way to proceed, wouldn't you agree? Find a way out of here, quickly. What about the other man? Take a wild guess. How much do they sell this panacea for anyway? No idea. But with the shit they put in it, they won't lack for profits, I'm sure.
Well done, dear boy. Well done. Charles Darwin, delighted to make your acquaintance. Jacob Fry, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. Ooh, I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. What was the fun in that? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation. insufferable oh, fellow yeah. I have ever had the misfortune to count yeah. among my acquaintances. Mr. Dickens was right. Foul weather wouldn't know where to have you. Foul weather? Bah! I have always been convinced that existing influences were responsible for the ordained birth of species. Let me remind you, sir, that you have accused me of abusing science, yet you are making my very ears bleed. You wound me, sir. Will you, Mr. Owen, for once in your miserable life, tell the truth and admit your guilt in this matter? Come on, you silly man. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive! That is Richard Owen, a vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! this type of vehicle could take. Dr. Elliotson, Dr. John Elliotson, 
He formulated the elixir. He's the man you want, not me. I beg you, good sir, stop this madness. Now, was that so hard? Ah, Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Stalick's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized at College Wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your bracers. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself. Easiest job I've had all year. They ought to hire better muscle.
docks, lads! We need to get this load to Steric now! On your way, then. I'm sure Mr. Bell will find this most interesting. there, Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starrick's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. Another exciting night home for Evie Fry. Just on my way out, actually. I found the piece of Eden. What's this one going to do, hmm? Heal the sick, deflect bullets, control the populace. They're dangerous objects, Jacob, especially in Templar hands. Oh, you sound exactly like father. 
If only. Lucy Thorne is expecting a shipment tonight. She's Starrick's expert in the occult. I'm nearly certain she is receiving the piece of Eden Sir David Brewster mentioned. Sounds like fun. Mind if I join you? I promise you will stick to the mission. I swear. The contents of that box are worth more than your life and those of your entire family. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Thorne. Uh, careful there, and double the guard on that cart. Now, Miss Thorne, there's the matter of some uh, papers for Mr. Sarek. If you'll just come this way. Very well, but make it quick. Whatever it is she's after, it's in that chest. There are gunmen on the rooftops. Can you dispose of them before I reach the cart? I was hoping for a challenge. Actually, there he is. I think it's best we leave. What did you do? It's hardly the time for questions. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> Jacob Campbell! What is it? It's papers, Jacob. Documents, research. Stop it! 
the train for you. Like a paint, new rugs from Camden Loch, and my wee sister, One the seamstress, day, a did a discount on the, the curtains. Broke his fat over Uncle's cranium. He died. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. The papers and all. Simply delightful. You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. There you go. Do you know, I think this map may be taking us to the Kenway mansion. Kenway? The pirate? Master assassin and pirate, yes. How much do you know about the Shroud of Eden? It's said to heal the sick. Popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead, but the assassin records say that's not true. 
I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found one? He travelled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true, what a find it would be. Indeed. I'm eager to find out myself. It's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. Edward's son, Haven, joined the Templars. When he died, the house passed on to Haven's sister. And in all your time in London, you didn't go and have a look around? Weren't even a little curious? Truly, I didn't expect to find anything there. We've no way of knowing how many times the buildings changed hands. I presumed Hayden would have had it stripped bare before he left. But if Miss Thorne thinks the Shroud could still be there... If there's a vault, the Templars haven't found it yet. So the Templars owned a house with assassin treasures stored in it, and never located them. We must be better at hiding things than they are. I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. But don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? Can you check over there? Of course. Looks interesting. Miss Thorne is quite the collector. I feel like I'm being watched. Another assassin artifact. Something from Edward Kenway's time. This should belong to the assassins. I can't believe they've kept all of this. I wish father could have seen this. What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. What do the Templars not see? Something only we can. Is 
subtle is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. of the London Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. An entire vault, filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later, or find a better cachet. We? I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I... I was thinking more of you and your brother. I, I shall provide uh, planning assistance from the train. Jacob's off marauding. There is a vacancy. Should you desire to broaden your horizons? Oh, well, Evie, I... Oh, well, Evie, I will think on it. You do that. Come, let's get above ground. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me.
key and said she was fired. The bugger will get in trouble for this. Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I'll not be working for this asylum ever again.
This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. And since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. Corpses do not have boots. It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I hear a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India, by a ship, and up from the harbor to a factory, where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door, unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me, who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick, for their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. 
and you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry, this insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this, this miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Odzoberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. <laughs> 